I think we do know what happened now. Uh, there's no question but that it was a terrorist attack. There's no question but that the security was inadequate. I think what happened was the director of national intelligence, which we call the DNI, who is a very good uh, individual, the former head of the Defense Intelligence Agency, General Jim Clapper, put out some, speak uh, some speaking points on the initial intelligence assessment. Um, I think that was possibly a mistake. Well, she's the head of the Senate Intelligence Committee, uh, Democrat Dianne Feinstein from California, saying that uh, General Jim Clapper is to blame for the talking points originally. Uh, the president went out today and gave an interview to The Daily Show, John Stewart's show. Um, it airs tonight. We did get the transcript, and we can give you a piece of it, a part of it. At one part, part he's asked about Benghazi, and he says, quote, every piece of information that we got as we got it, we laid it out for the American people, and the picture eventually gets fully filled in, and we know how to prevent it in the future. And he's asked by Stewart uh, if you might say it wasn't optimal, optimal the way it unfolded with Susan Rice and reading from different script than state, and he says, quote, if four Americans get killed, it's not optimal. We're going to fix it, all of it. What happens during the course of a presidency is that the government is a big operation, and at any given time, something screws up, and you make sure that you find out what's broken and you fix it. Again, the president on The Daily Show uh, tonight. Charles, every piece of information that we got, as we got it, we laid it out for the American people. There's another whopper. Susan Rice goes on TV and she says this was not a premeditated terror attack. Is that from every piece of evidence that they had at the time? They'll really? say that Clapper gave them the talking points. Well, they will say, but there was also their own State Department information that listened in on the attack that said there, was, there wasn't a mob, there wasn't a video, it was, an, it was an armed attack. You had the president himself boasted in the debate that he said it was a terror attack on the second day. So how does that square? If he's saying that and he's taking the credit for it, then clearly that was information that was out there and then she denies it on the Sunday after. That clearly is a contradiction. All of this is a contradiction. It isn't only the one contradicting the other, it's the president contradicting himself. He tries to take the credit for saying it's a terror attack in the debate and then he says on Letterman a week later, well I can't say it's terror attack or we're still investigating. That is clearly a contradiction and he does the same when he speaks after the debate to the person who asked him that question, one Kerry Latka in which he essentially says the same thing. I think you've got that on... You're getting good at this. Teeing up the sound button. <laughs> That's why I get the big bucks. That's right. All right, let's listen in. He tried to explain that the reason he took so long between that initial announcement in the Rose Garden and uh, about two weeks later when he formally announced it as an act of terrorism, that he wanted to be deliberate, that he did not want to make a mistake based on misinformation. He wanted accurate and true information because any action he took in any part of the world, including the Middle East, would have dire consequences. Oh, he says that a after the debate, he talks to Laka and goes up to him and engages him in a conversation afterwards. We have the picture of him. And this is exactly how he does this. He goes out in front of 67 million Americans and says, I'm the one who says a terror attack on the next day. And then when nobody is listening except this one man, well, we, were, we didn't have the information and we got it later. I had to be careful. In fact, Candy Crowley, who disgracefully intervened in that and, and supported the president on his claim, that he had said was a terror attack on the day after. She did exactly the same. She then walked it back off camera after she had supported the president and garnered applause for the, the president. That's a hell of a neutral audience. And then when nobody is watching, said, well, yeah, Romney really had it right. So you say one thing out there, then you retract it, or you walk it back in private, and then you, you, you pretend that every piece of information is laid out openly, that in itself is a falsehood. We tell the truth, it's easier to memorize. When you hear from the vice president put the blame on the intelligence community, you hear from Diane Feinstein saying Jim Clapper put out these statements, uh, these talking points. Uh, you hear from the DNI saying that our, situ our assessment evolved, but then you hear from the president saying, I called it an act of terror on day one. Um, what do you think the intelligence community is thinking? Well, they tried to throw Hillary under the bus 
but she has resources, including her husband and other people who might strike back. There could be. There was a report today still uh, that is still speculative that there's traffic, cable traffic that would show that she had requested uh, other, um, uh, other uh, security measures. So they try to throw her under the bus. That's not that wise. And now they're going to try to throw Clapper, who's less well known and has less support. However, the intelligence people have the secrets. And if you try to destroy them, particularly if it's unwarranted, they have ways of leaking stuff that you will regret. And that may happen. But it might not happen until after Election Day, in which case Obama doesn't care. This has been a Sunfish production.